what's happening? It has been seven months now since I have owned this NZXT Kraken X52 inside my computer. And now I want to talk about how it has been treating me. First off, I do want to say, of course, the sleek design still puts the liquid cooler over the top. And I like the fact that it fits inside of an Antec P50 properly. I do have the fans mounted to where the, the fans are on the bottom with the long screws and the washers and the radiator on top with the tiny screws. I know I cut that out on the setup video, but it just took forever to screw it on, but that's how I have it set up. Another thing I want to talk about is the temperatures. The temperatures tend to be high on some occasion, but that's just probably because I have it on its silent performance. Maybe I'm due for uh, replacing the thermal paste in this thing. So if you think of any uh, top branded thermal, thermal pastes, let me know in the comments below and I will take your advice. Another thing I want to talk about is, as you can probably tell, Cam has new software. 3.5 is the version, I believe. Very new interface. It may be tricky, but everything is still the same. CPU temperatures and clock speed, GPU temperatures and clock speed, RAM, and the storage. But on the left, you have a different layout. You got the dashboard, the build, the games, overclocking, cooling, lighting, and drivers. Basically, everything from the previous version except different interface. So many of you are asking how to configure the lighting and the cooling with the Kraken X52 in this new update. Easy. Just go down here to cooling, and as you can tell, I have the fan on silent mode, 25%, and the liquid temperature is at 90 degrees. To change it, you just go into edit, and there's the fan, which is in silent mode, and the pump, which is in fixed mode. Now over here, it's a little bit tiny, but this is where you want to change it. So I'm going to switch that to performance, and then hit apply. And then the pump, I should just... Uh, keep it but changing the speed is right here where this bar is anyways let's move on to lighting now the lighting is a little bit tricky than in the previous version you can actually click on the ring or the logo to pull up this so let's just switch it over to red and click apply. Now one thing that is pretty nice is that if you wanted to change the ring the same color, it has it on the same points as well as the logo. So you can just hit apply and it corresponds. Now the themes are right over here as usual, breathing, Fading, Marquee, Covering Marquee, Pulse, Spectrum Wave, Alternating, Tai Chi, Water Cooler, and Low. You get the idea. But I know that you commented on my previous videos on that the new interface has come out and you need help with it. So... Here are the drivers... I don't have, uh, it, as you can tell, it'll tell you that when there's an update available, it will alert you, which would be nice. Now overclocking, it is what it sounds like, gotta switch this to on. And I just turned on the graphics card to full speed, should just switch that back to standard. games and what cam overlay is is you can actually uh, display the FPS the average FPS memory version CPU and GPU 
it is what it sounds like, but um, I don't know, plan on having that enabled. And of course, the details of your computer. So that about does it. All in all, I still enjoy the Kraken X52. I could probably consider swapping up the thermal paste with something a little more high end. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment below and I will see you next time. Now, while you are on your computer, a lot of you tend to have problems with it, such as slow performance, a lot of viruses, anything like that. Before you take it to the repair shop or consider buying a new one, come to my website, remotetechassistance.com. While you're there, please download my seven simple secrets to make your computer run faster. It is free, it is simple, and it is also safe. Also, if you do not want to look at the PDF, come to my Remote Tech Assistance channel on YouTube and watch the secrets there. They are also as simple as the PDF file. Just go to remotetechassistance.com. There is a link in the description below.